Hello there and welcome to another exciting edition of your favorite All Women Talk Show on City FM and City TV. My name is Jessica and tonight, as always, we're going to delve deep into relationship issues. Looks like everybody's getting issues these days, but we love it because, of course, they pop up on this show and we're happy to be a sounding board and give you our honest opinions on you know what goes on and perhaps you can take some very good decisions from those that being said i do want to say a special thank you to our sponsors for the show vodafone together we can and talia rice always coming home to love now when we come back i will tell you exactly how you can be part of this show the show is interactive after all and we get to meet my sisters on the show tonight as well so stay tuned don't go anywhere And you're welcome back, sister, sister, on City FM, City TV. Remember, we're also live in Sub-Saharan Africa on DSTV channel 363, Go TV channel 182. So, if you want to be part of the show today, there are several ways you can reach us. I'll tell you about our WhatsApp number, 054-998-6996. Don't forget to prefix it with a country code, plus 233, if you're messaging us from outside Ghana, because we do know we have lots of fans all across Africa. So yeah, um, definitely send us a message. You can also send an email, uh, sometimes ahead of time even, to jessica at cityfmonline.com. If you have questions, you have comments you want to make, you can use that platform. Find us on Facebook as well. Join our growing community. Um, search for Sister Sister L-I-V-E, Sister Sister Live on Facebook. Like our page and you should be good to go. And now that you know how you can reach us and how you can join the conversation, you're welcome once again. Let me say hello to my sisters in studio. Joining me tonight, I have Olivia on my left and I have Hi. Sandra on my right. Hi. And I've got Demi joining us virtually. <laughs> hey Demi, how you doing? Good love. How are you? I'm all right. Can't complain. You look well. What's 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 Thank going on you. in your life? Made more money? <laughs> yes, always. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Cool. It's really good to see you, Livy. How are you doing? I'm good. Mm. I'm fantastic. Yeah. Okay. You look it. Listen, right now you're the hottest commodity on this show right now because you like gave it. a recipe on the show a couple of, was it last week or so? Yeah. And people have been blowing up my phone, my inbox, hey, please yeah. link me up with Olivia. She said plantain water and what? Like, I'm like, <laughs> oh. Ah, that's nice. Why, why, why are you doing that to me? Oh, put, post the thing so people can get out of my DMs. <laughs> I'll post it. Yeah. I'll, I'll post I'll post it. But actually, that's interesting you should say that because I, I had a few people call me. Yes. No, that was real. There was one guy who called me, and by the end of the conversation, he was like, damn, you should open a consultancy. I'm Seriously, like, I'd pay. Well, maybe not. Pay. <laughs> <laughs> not like I need help. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd pay. Is that something you want to tell us? We're the sister. That's right. what we do. We support the business, each other. That's right? what the consultancy that's business what we do. is like. Exactly. Yeah, with branding and everything. Do your voiceovers and stuff, you know? I know who to go to. Absolutely. Yeah. The voice. <laughs> You absolutely. Hey, cuz Julia, <laughs> good to see you. So, <laughs> were you gonna spank me? No, <laughs> not on air. No, no, off air. <laughs> I'm not gonna like it, am I? No, you're not. I'm sure. Mm -mm. I'm sure. Mm -mm. How has your week been? Interesting. Mm. Do tell. I've been seeing lots of food on your status. <laughs> like, like she's been going to all the special <laughs> joints without me. <laughs> Only with family members, apparently. Yes, with my cousins, mm. my newfound cousins, your right. real cousins. You mean. Yes, my <laughs> real cousins. Uh, yeah. The week has been interesting. Super. Yeah. We like interesting weeks. Yeah. You should tell me do. about it off air. We've been making money and getting lots of love and lots of sex and. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Interesting combination. <laughs> yeah. All the things that make me happy. Um, oh. All the things that make me happy. Like, oh. you know, I, I wasn't expecting it. You know you're glowing. Yeah, she's a single right? yeah. mm. I swear to you, I was about to say the same mm. thing. Mm. You look so well, I must Hello. say. I must say. Hello. All jokes aside. My mama bought me well. Yeah. Mm. Greetings Ciao. to your mama. <laughs> Let's start the show, shall we? 
We've got our first message coming in already. It says, good evening, sisters. I'm Nana Kwesi, a level 300 student in one of the private universities in Accra. I live with my elder brother and his wife. Now, my brother is my only surviving relative and has been taking care of me since secondary school days, and we are really, really close. My brother has been married for a little over eight months, and he seems very happy. The issue now is his wife has been making advances towards me for the past three months. Mm -hmm. I am really uncomfortable, and I don't know what to do. There was a time I came out of the bathroom naked, and she was sitting on my bed in just her underwear, begging me to make love to her. I was astounded and short of words. I quickly grabbed my towel, pushed her out of the room, and she also sends me her nudes. She has been pleading with me to have sex with her just one time. When I asked her why she's doing that, she says she's sexually attracted to me. I confided in my best friend, and he says I should speak to my brother about it. Now, my issue is I don't want to be the cause of any breakup or divorce. I even threatened to report her to my brother, but she called my bluff. Hmm. Mm. My brother knows me very well and knows I won't fabricate such a story. I'm also thinking of how heartbroken he will be because he's deeply in love with her. How do I go about this issue? Hmm. Yeah, this is this is this yeah. the, the Joseph and Potiphar. Charlie, Clekies, Clekies. Where do you? This is. Woo. Oh my god. You want to go first? Joe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Like, Okay, so first and foremost, you should not, not, not have sex with this woman at all. And um, honestly, I can appreciate that your brother is the one who's been taking care of you, you know, his family and all of that. But he's married. If I were you and if there was a way I could actually move out of the house so that just brother, your brother would have time to just go through the ups and downs with his wife. And this wife cry, I really don't know what your brother is doing with this woman. But then again, that's love for you. You, you can't be the reason why your brother ends up divorcing this, this woman. Because for me, you, the reason that she even gives is so lame. She's just sex sex sexually attracted to, to, to you. Mm. So you go have sex with her, and then what? You're going to, five minutes of pleasure for what? 55 years of pain back. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Do you know, I actually know. You know me, I always know. <laughs> <laughs> I know of a, a, a guy, right, who got home one day. He used to live with his little brother. He got home one day, and he went to his brother's room, and then he saw his brother's boxer shorts with his, sis, with his wife's uh, panties on the floor. Oh. And that was it. Wow. He just sacked his brother out of the house. That was it. He, to date, he doesn't talk to his brother. Of course. And you, it, that's not something you want to be doing. Like, that's not, like, that's an unnecessary stress to deal with. And I actually also do know about a story whereby there was this guy who was living with his brother. Once he got married, he was like, you know, my guy, I love you. You're my brother, but tell you. The day I said I do, tell you, for come out, you for go. Mm. Because, like, I mean, people always say, but you know, be firewood. And she's, this girl is just admiring you 24-7. She's like, all she wants to do is have sex with you. So, what if you have sex with her and yours too is nicer? What if you have sex with her and your thing is also bigger than her, her, than her husband's? And she's like, she wants more, she wants more. What are you going to do? Mm. Like, that's temptation. You see, temptation comes our way every single time. But what we do or how we react to temptation is what is most important. This is it. Find a way to get out of the house. Tell your brother that you would love to give he, his, his, you, you love to give him and his wife some space in order to grow their marriage. And for now, you're not really comfortable about being in the house. He's going to ask you, oh, why, why, why? Just tell him that. No, you just want to be out of the house and you like his support. That is, if your brother actually financially supports you, just he, tell he him does. that. Remember, exactly. he's in university. Yeah. Exactly, you're in university. Tell him that, oh, you want some small rent be so that you can, you know, sort of patch out. Don't give him the details. Let things unfold. And should your brother end up finding out that he married a Jezebel, then at least you can come out and say that you didn't want to be the reason why, you know, I think. Mm -hmm. But as much as possible, just stay out of it. Get out of there. And what if he really does, like, doesn't have a choice? Because it's clear he's a student, his brother's one who's been taking care of him, you know, and maybe currently does not have the money to give him and say, go He should and lock rent. himself. He should lock himself in the room. He should avoid the woman right. if he can. He should save money and move out. 
Mm. He should save money. He definitely has to move out. He can't be in the house. That's like temptation waiting. She's got. He's got. You have nudes of it. Like, what if your brother picked the phone, your phone, so. and saw the nudes? There's nothing you can say to convince your brother that you had nothing to do with. And what if your brother walked in, and walked saw into the room yeah. and saw your his wife sitting on the bed naked with only panties on? How are you going to justify that? Like, what are you going to say? Hmm. Like, that's mad. Right. She's going to create temptation upon temptations. And don't put yourself in a situation where, like, on to me, you can't take yourself out of it. Get out. All right, true. That's the exact reason why I would say tell your brother immediately. Oh, hello. Oh. It's a different perspective. Yes, because you see, like we said, she's a Jezebel. She's a witch. Yeah. She's Thank come you. to break up two brothers. Thank you. That's what she's coming to do. Blood is blood. Okay, your brother has looked after you for this long. He just got married to this witch. You have her nudes. If you can get more evidence, I say tell your brother. Tell your brother because it would be unfortunate for him to find out. Even if he doesn't find out about you, even if he moves out and he finds out who he married, and then you later come and come and say, oh, but I knew. How's he going to feel? Mm. You know, like, like you when, knew when all you while. knew all this while and you didn't let me know, like you let me, you let me stay married to a witch. Do you get what I mean? I would say, honestly, step up to your brother and say, look, I'm not trying to start any trouble. But especially when she called his bluff. Right. She called your bluff yeah. because she thought you wouldn't say it. Right. Well, beat her to her game. Tell. Mm. You have her nudes. If you can get more evidence, I say, look, bro, Charlie. I'm not trying to start trouble. Really, I've thought of leaving this house, but you're my brother. You've been good to me and all of that and all of that. Here is evidence. Mm. Do with it as you will. Put a leash on your cat. <laughs> that's mm. it. That's but what it. if she denies it? You know, you're that's, like what I mean by get, that's what I mean by get more evidence. And, and, okay. and, 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 and today, Charlie, recordings are easy to come by. Yeah. Yeah. You know? He could even Record encourage her, her just Encar to get... Exactly. Encourage her. Record her. Do a video recording. Do an audio recording. Keep all the text messages. Keep all the nudes. Gather a docket. Mm. Yeah. And sit your brother down. If possible, sit your brother and your mother, or whoever it is, another family member down and say, look, yeah. Charlie, this thing over me. It's been going on for this long. I can't deal anymore. Well, yeah. And I don't want trouble. Because if you find out and I didn't tell you, I'm effed. Yeah. So here, hmm. do with it what you will. Okay. Yeah. Let me bring in Demi because um, she says don't tell. She says tell. <laughs> Maybe Demi, you can break this tie for us. What do you think? <laughs> Hi. So <laughs> I would say to this poor dude, vamoose, skedaddle. Leave, flee, <laughs> abscond, like, I mean, run for the hills. I don't know what else to, like, what other synonym or adjective or phrase there is for running away. But certainly, you need to, A, leave the house at all costs. We remember, you know, we had stated that the example in the Bible with Joseph and uh, Potiphar's wife. It's the same thing. There's nothing new under the sun, literally. And looking at the numbers, he says they've been married for eight months, and this began uh, three months ago. So really, just in five months, she's she's been able to do this and claims to have these feelings, this, this vile woman. Uh, so certainly, <laughs> leave, stay with somebody, I mean, patched by your classmates or your course mates home, on their bed, in their dorm, wh whatever. I mean, just be away. And then, um, like Sandra said, you should have at least three months of evidence. You should have the text messages. You should have all of those things, the, the pictures and all that. And you can present this to your brother. Uh, and and this, you, you cannot judge how he should take it because it's an awful, awful situation uh, all around. Uh, but at least you would have done your part. You would have presented it to him. And certainly do not be tempted. Don't be in any doubt as to what to do and all of that. Like, no. Leave. Take your flight. Take your leave. Go away. And then present all the evidence that you have to your brother and tell him, listen, this is what has been going on. This is why I left abruptly. 
uh, you know, and and explain all things to him. I know you you're 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 sad that you'll have to hurt your brother, but you are not the one to blame for this. It is clearly her actions, unless you had some part to do with it, and you're only writing one side of the story. Hmm. <laughs> but if that is not the case then please leave and if your hands are clean your heart is clean uh eventually you and your brother will certainly reconcile you also told your best friend who can at least attest to the fact that you confided in him and this was really happening uh to you and will provide further evidence to your brother about the sort of woman he married and whatever happens in that relationship maybe we'll wait another time the brother will write in and and tell us the story and then we'll we'll then decipher it and judge it judge it and get into it get into it um at that time but for now one leave two uh find time uh to tell your brother uh ho hopefully in a neutral environment um and then let him know you will break his heart like you said he is in love with her but these are completely 100 percent her actions and she has to bear the consequence Demi. So Demi's just combined what you both said. <laughs> All right, cool. I mean, um, I'm asking myself what I would have done. I probably would not tell. Hey, no, um, <laughs> because I wouldn't want to hurt my sibling. Yeah. But I, I'm all for the idea of like gathering evidence because that tells a better True. story than I could ever. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, yeah, I get you on that. You did mention something about um, perhaps getting in a third party. A parent. A parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what you ladies think about that. Like getting someone to, to join that conversation or even maybe pre 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 um, presenting the evidence to this third party and letting mm -hmm. them know. And this is obviously has to be a family member. A family member. Of uh, sorts. Okay. So the reason... Okay, so first of all, in, in response to you not wanting to hurt your brother, which is why you wouldn't tell, like I said, if he finds out later that you knew, it's actually more painful. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's actually more painful yeah. to know that the person I, I loved and cared about knew this didn't, all along. Knew this, didn't have my, yeah. In fact, it'll feel like you didn't have my back. You didn't have his back from the get-go. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So that's, that's my position on that. Yeah. The reason I feel like you need a parent on there is, or an older person, an older family member, is that person brings to the table experience and can tamper tempest mm -hmm. so to speak and this is not this is not a conversation especially he's like he's the younger brother yes yeah. you you don't step up to your older brother and, and go Charlie, like, this is heavy it's yeah. heavy go this like, is yo, heavy check my WhatsApp yo check, check check this do you get yeah. what i mean this it's heavy you need as they say in Ghana, mm -hmm. somebody who's fair enough mm -hmm. exactly yeah. to be in that conversation to to temper tempest so to speak. So that that's why I think yeah. you need that. Mm. Yeah, mm. I agree yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree yeah. with you. Let's bring in a couple of comments. Uh, Sayram says, if you're close to your brother, tell him about it. That's definitely not a good wife. He's bound to break your, she is bound to break your brother's heart. Yeah. Anyway, even if you don't, hmm, relationship, na big wahala, God help us. Victor says, you need to handle this issue with care. If you, if not, you'll end up causing more harm than good. So problems that her actions will create for you herself and your brother oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and she's she's mm -hmm. dared him you know oh, yeah. Kafui says <laughs> move out fast regardless of how much your brother trusts you marriage is a different demon uh she will ruin you guys for life do it for yourself and your brother let her find another candidate for her foolishness edward says my brother this lady will get you into trouble she called your bluff because she can scream one day and tell your brother that you wanted to rape her best thing is to ask your brother to get a place for you since you're growing and want your privacy don't tell him until you have moved out Benedicta says, tell your brother before children start to come in. She's not ready to be a good wife. Gather more evidence. You can even record your conversations with her. I mean, it's only been eight months. Mm. Yeah. Ah, so I don't think she really liked him. No, she, she, no, I don't think so. Nah. I don't, it's, it's only eight months. months. Nah. Crazy. Ah. Desire says, you don't need to waste much time with this. Um, the more you delay your brother and your brother finds out, he might think you're actually the one making advances. Mm -hmm. It's better he gets broken hearted knowing the kind of woman he married than keeping such a woman as a wife with such behavior. Carla says, move out with an excuse because telling your brother will break up the marriage in addition, traumatize him. Let him find out if the lady should 
should go after other men, for instance, but don't be the course. And G finally says, gather enough evidence. Tell your brother before it's too late. She's just a devil trying to separate you two. If your brother decides to divorce her, that shouldn't be your worry. He will be just fine with time. Tell him now or never. Those are a couple of your comments. Your comments are also welcome on 054-998-6996. Let's hear your thoughts on uh, our first story. We'll go for a quick break. When we come back, there's more. Alrighty, welcome back, sister, sister, City TV, City FM. Interesting times tonight. Next message says, hello, Jessica. I am a young man in my late 20s. I've been dating this woman for three years now. She's married with a child, but she suffered a setback in her marriage and is currently going through separation. She assured me that she doesn't have feelings for her husband anymore. One time we had an argument and I suggested we call it quits because she isn't divorced. The next thing I knew, she was entertaining another guy. <laughs> to be honest, I don't feel secure because of her husband being in the picture and also because of the presence of this other guy. Fast forward. I've met this young lady who's falling so quickly for me. I sort of like her and I may propose to her. Now the issue is, I just discovered that she's related to the said married woman. Oh gosh. This woman has found out about my intentions and wants me to stay away from the new girl. Because of this, I want to tell her the truth about my relationship with a married woman because she only knows her as my co-worker. What's stopping me now is that I may lose her if I open up. Please advise. You can lose her either which way. Yeah. Like, yeah. whether yeah. you whether tell you, tell you, her, her, you lose her. You, you can't lose her. It's possible. Because, yeah, the, the married woman can tell her. Yeah. Okay. Easily. Yeah. So, she, so he should do what? Tell her. Uh, ah. I, I think that your this other girl is better off hearing it from you yeah tell her that this is what it is this is what happened the past is in the past if she it's her decision to make she can decide okay this is what you did in the past i don't care about it i love you for you let's move on so that if assuming this witch of a woman decides to intrude in your relationship actually she knows rather than oh it'll spring up a surprise on her and she's like Oh, okay, you didn't tell me what's going on, yada, 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 yada. But this is, this is what just drives me crazy. When you have an ex or whatever it is, like, I don't even know what you're doing in a relationship with a married woman to start with. She says she's leaving her husband. Yeah, yeah. she said she's she leaving. hasn't left. She hasn't left. But the fact that but she hasn't do it to the girls too all the time. Uh, well, they they, they are leaving and they never leave. Whether men do it or women do it, it doesn't justify mm -hmm. it. My course. thing is that she's not divorced. Yeah. Right. You have no business... With shagging her, but you shagged her. She's a witch. You are dating. Up, you, 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 oh, can you imagine? Dating. Can you imagine? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you found somebody else, and then like, so wait, oh. wait so wait, wait, this is so wait, 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 and when he they had issues and he said let's break up, she found a second boy toy. Yes. yes. Hard girl. So he had rough. <laughs> in fact, when I grew up, I want to be like that. <laughs> but um then he finds somebody else. Mm. And she has a problem with it. And she has a problem with it. Mm. Like what's up? Ah, auntie. Auntie. Like this is Jason Bond. They are related. Say, 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 you are come to your story, but auntie, you too. Why? <laughs> You too, why? Like the men now, they know child for the town already. They are, they are hugging three. Oh. Uh, so, say, mm -hmm. please tell this new girl that you have met because she'd prefer to, it, it's better for her to hear it from you yeah. than to hear it from her. Mm. You she know, twist the story. she will twist the story in ways that you won't even recognize yourself in the story. She will say how you proposed to marry her, how you're the reason she's leaving her husband. Tell this girl now and cut all ties with this. I think today is the day for witches. <laughs> I know, I know. Cut <laughs> all ties with this witch of a, I don't even know what she is. So, yes, yeah, sugar mommy, you. So, oh, yeah, dear you. Cut ties, I but beg you, know, you. But you know that technically, this woman, this witch of a woman, right? She doesn't have a story. Like, she doesn't have a like point she like she, she doesn't have no, a with, no 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 with, with him she doesn't but you see you know like when people can twist their stories so mm. all the time people will all twist the you i mean i know somebody who has claimed somebody's the reason she's divorced and mm. when you hear the other person's story 
Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you're always better off telling, you know what they say about until the lion learns to tell his story, the hunter will yeah. always, Charlie, tell your story. Mm -hmm. Tell your story. Who will believe it will believe it. How they'll take it, they'll take it. But it's up to you to tell this girl because if you let this married woman go and tell it, yeah yeah and, and i also think that you need to be a man enough about the status of yes. the relationship, relationship with this married yes. woman yes because it's like she has you as her boy toy she can decide as and when she wants you she can decide to break up with you today the next day she's going out with somebody else but you're still there with, yeah. like at which point in time are you going to block her at which point in time are you going to tell her that it's enough it's like enough. i'm yeah. done it's yeah. a done deal yeah. like i have and nothing to do with, with you. you remember Yes, of course. Yes, so she goes to work mm, they work together. Twenty four seven. I hope she's not his boss. Probably. It doesn't matter, but let yeah, her it know that it matters. So if she's well, sure, she has to give his job. Yeah. 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 But you know, then this would never end because she's going to be calling the shots forever. Do you see what I mean? Mm. If it's that important to him, then he needs to move on with his life. At some point in time, if I were him, I'll start looking for a new job. That or is go to HR. Or go to a HR. Or HR, depending on the, the boss's level. Well, that's true. But if I were him, I'll start trying to find a new job. I'll start trying to do something with my life. Because whatever it is, this woman is going to keep intruding in his relationship until yeah. he puts the pants on and decides he's man in the relationship. He wants nothing to do with this woman. Mm. Charlie, if he doesn't do that, and Charlie forgets, you still be like hunky punking and like this woman will have her way. She doesn't have like she's married, she's got a boy toy, and you're like, no, no, right now you're not even raining. No. Mm. You're not raining. This there's somebody else that because make sense. Yes. and now you yeah. are like it's like Konongo Kaya, you are you don't want to want to go, you too, you don't want to be like but she doesn't want him to go. <laughs> Why? She doesn't want to, eh? Why? Maybe something Maybe is he's nice. He's been drinking your plantain something. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But you don't know. Man man. You can't be a man down. Yeah. Man down. Yeah. You can't be a man down. Yeah. Let's not try. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Nah. I feel you, Demi. <laughs> you've been quiet. Let's hear you. <laughs> oh, what in the Leonardo DiCaprio is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where do people find such drama? Like how? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Okay, so um, <laughs> he's in his late 20s and then he is dating a married woman for three mm -hmm. years. She has a child, so there's a child involved. Mm -hmm. And then she's not done with her husband and, and you guys have a fight and then she there's a new boy toy. So mm -hmm. there are three men, you mm -hmm. and the husband and boy the boy toy, boy toy, number two. I mean, like, whoa. And of all the women, you find somebody who is related to this married What's woman. Like, my brother, my goodness, <laughs> what, what are you attracting? <laughs> Please, today, my motto is everybody should flee. Leave <laughs> it all alone. This is a messy, a messy mess mess, a hot mess express. Just <laughs> bottle it up, like throw it off a hill shoot it in the back of the head, oh. bury it in a coffin, like be done with it, okay? And I'm not sure he actually said she works with him or he works with he her, did. the married lady. He, he, I think he said, he told her, he told the new girl that this lady is, is a, a co-worker. Worker. That's right. Am I right? Oh, so you think yes. he may have lied to the new girl? Is that what you're suggesting? I think so. I think so mm -hmm. because because he's still involved. Right. You know, she and she's coming to the picture. He has to give some explanation. Right. I get about that. why who's this lady who's always calling you and all of that. So just leave them both alone. This will not go well. And what are you thinking about proposing because you like? No, 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 no. Leave it all alone. How is the wedding going to be like? With the married woman Showing and up. then her husband, maybe the and then with you and this new lady and no, please. I, I mean, you can imagine when the priest is like, uh, if anybody has something, hey! to or <laughs> hey! forever hold your peace. And then you'll be sitting there all stressed, wanting to pee because somebody might get up and really have something to, to say. say. So, my guy. You have to go. You have to bounce. Like, peace out. Deuces. Be gone. Leave them two alone. Find a new girl. There are plenty of women in Ghana. Find somebody. Okay? But he wants that one. 
But you know, but you know how he said that he no, doesn't really like her. That like one is he, not he the one likes for you. It. He yeah, it says, so I sort of like her, I and of, I yes. may propose to her. But what if so I sort liking someone? But if he wants to, he may propose to her. It means he likes her enough. I feel like the guy is not stable. Like, he yeah. doesn't know what he wants. Honestly, but see, like, but, he's but, like, but, I sort of like her. Like, he needs just, to think of family events after he proposes. That. Mm. He does. Because, forget, the wedding there can come and go. I mean, they can do secret wedding. Yeah. But if indeed they are related, can you imagine from mm, even? Yeah. yeah, very awkward. The auntie that never goes away. <laughs> yeah, and you guys, and she, she sounds, and she sounds and petty. Yeah. Yeah. Name you know? your child. Yeah, she sounds petty. <laughs> yeah, oh, she sounds petty. Yeah, she sounds petty. Yeah, she And then when yes. the guy is peeing, she will go into the washroom and lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> she she, 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 she like, was preparing no, 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 no. She does. Yeah. Sound, she does sound like somebody yeah. who does. She will be one of those ones who will say, "Oh, what's his name?" He didn't say. He didn't say. Coffee, coffee, help me in the kitchen. Yes. Oh, oh, I want Kofi to do this. Mm -hmm. oh, she will make him uncomfortable. She will. Yeah. Shale, she's right. Bounce. Yeah. Bounce. No. Bounce, no. Bounce, yeah. bounce, bounce, no. Bounce. bounce. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. Leave. Yes. Leave from the devil. No, the devil. Both the of them, actually. Yes. Family members. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the family. <laughs> in the family. Leave them alone. Mm. Alrighty. Well, I don't know what you guys think, uh, and by this I mean the audience watching and listening. Um, your comments are welcome. Zero five four nine nine eight six nine nine six. Should he leave? Should he stay and manage the situation? You know, let's hear your thoughts. Whilst we do that, we'll move on to the next story. It says, good evening, guys. Uh, I need some advice on this. I've been single for about two years since I broke up with my ex. I'm shy to say this, but we. But we have still been having sex despite him being in a new relationship. <laughs> Almost every weekend, he calls me to come help him with his chores. He checks up on me only when he needs a favor. I know you'll think I don't love myself enough, but I still have feelings for this guy. I know you will also say he's using me, but I'm thinking we may reunite in the end. Advise me on what to do. Demi. <laughs> Cover to you. <laughs> Jessica, you are, you are scattering my brain. <laughs> and they bust your brain. <laughs> I, we, I, yes, I we mean, um, like, huh? So she knows. Hmm. She knows. She said, you, I think you say uh, he's using me. She knows. He only calls her when he needs something. Uh, calls her to come and help with the chores every weekend. Like, the nerve. My goodness. No. <laughs> Listen, this is not the way to do anything. This is not the way you are. I mean, sex is not the road to anything. This this would not lead you anywhere. Um, all you're telling him is that he doesn't have to do the homework. He doesn't have to be emotionally invested. He doesn't have to work on communication. The two of you don't have to work on problem solving. All the important tenets that really make a relationship all he has to do is to sleep with you, and that's it. No. Like like you yourself said, you think we'll say that you don't love yourself and all of that. Please. Uh, sleeping with an ex is never the way at all. So all please, 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 whatever feelings you think you might have, this is just a perception. Okay? You have to let it go. You have to spend one weekend, cry in your house. Get it all out of your system and uh, fill yourself with other things. Fill your mind with other things that are more beneficial and then leave this alone. There's a reason why he's your ex. You've established that he's a cheater because he's with somebody else and he's trying to be with you. I mean, this, this guy is not good for you is he's not good for your self-esteem he's not he doesn't value you he's not ready to put in any work and certainly sleeping with somebody muddles all of that for you especially or particularly for women all that clear thinking for you is muddled because you you he's you're you're in there for for uh, physical benefit and so is he a hundred percent you have the hope that this will grow into something else but Darling, I am here to tell you that it will not grow into anything else. It will not grow into anything beneficial. Leave it alone. He's your ex, EX. Uh, say no to exes. Delete their numbers. We block exes. That is what we do to exes, okay? That's that when they get the EX acronym, we block them. We delete them. We don't know who they are. When we see them at the ball shop, we walk past, okay? We walk past, and then we flip our hair. And we're like, I don't know who that person is. 
Who is that person? Who? Do I know you? Goodbye. Goodbye. Good riddance to bad trash. Girl, you got to go. Mm. All right. <laughs> Flippy. Sweetheart, you have just officially put yourself out there as an official booty call. That's mm. all you are. When he needs a favor, you are his house girl. You come clean, mm. wash, cook, and mm. then warm his bed. That's all you are good for. You're not marriage material enough. And like Demi was saying, like if you're good enough, why aren't you still with him? Mm. But what makes you think that you'll be good enough tomorrow? Right. Like... Maybe she does more of the chores, you know, hard work. Sash? Hard. It yeah. means nothing. Yeah. Nothing will mm. ever come mm. out of this. So you see, and and I'm not sure. Did she, she did she say she was in a relationship right now? No, he, girl, is. he is. He is a new relationship. So she's the side chick of her ex. Oh my I, gosh! I, listen, I like nothing, nothing is gonna come. Like I, I don't know. I wish I could literally pick you and shake you up and tell you to like wake up and smell the killy willy like it's not gonna happen like why is he not in a relationship with you and especially you know i have a problem with the fact that you think it's okay for him to be doing you while he's still in a convenient relationship because like, hoping to get him back that's what this is all about yeah but like use your common sense your faculties use them like you know at which point in time, like, he's cheating on whoever he is in a relationship with. What makes you think that even if you end up married to him, he's no, not going to cheat on you? He doesn't respect himself. He doesn't respect you. He's this, he's a selfish guy. Mm. And I'm not even going to preach to you about loving yourself because you know that you're supposed to be loving yourself. At this point, I'm just thinking that it's all about, you love like, oh gosh, like, it's a waste of time. My dear, like, it's a complete waste of time. You know what? I don't know whether it's the sex or, like, ask yourself. It's, like, it's put, false hope. Yeah, false hope. Put mm. a pen and paper down and ask yourself, like, this is you giving yourself, your whole, like, everything you think is, is your best to this guy of a person, right? In return... What kind of value is he putting on you? What kind of value is he adding into your life? Like, it, even if he's supposed to be marriage material, your kind of marriage material, like, what other than benefit is he bringing to the table? It shouldn't always be about give, 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 give. Like, there's going to be nothing left for whoever it is who is ready and willing to love you to have. Mm -hmm. You're giving your body, your soul, your emotions, everything that you have to this guy. He doesn't even appreciate you. He calls you and only when he needs he you. He calls you only when he needs you. Like, oh. gosh. Like, you know what? This love should not be like this. Like, I don't know how else to say. Like, you can see it's a ditch. And all you're doing is driving at top speed and excited to get in. <laughs> like, you need to, like. Yeah. Yes, Demi was saying, right, block the guy. Because you can't, you can't ask yourself what future you're looking for. Ask yourself, is there a future with this guy? This guy, there's no future. Maybe you don't know. Wake up. No, there's no future. This guy here, he will use you, uh, marry whoever it is that he's in a relationship with. Even after he's mm -hmm. married, he'll still call you because that's how you've presented yourself. And then moving forward, my, my, my dear, you know, you need to get up, hey? put some value on yourself. How are you? It, however it is that you present yourself, that's what people see. If you sit down and you, you, you present yourself as a bin bag, everybody's just going to come and dump their trash. Mm. Okay. You made your point. Sweetheart. Yeah. Auntie. <laughs> Auntie. <laughs> Auntie. <laughs> the reason we will tell you do not love yourself is because you don't. Thank you. And we are right. Because if you loved yourself, you would not let anybody use you. If you knew your value, you would not let anybody devalue you. Mm. And that's what he's doing. Auntie, please. You said we should advise you on what to do. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't know Abi. Say you don't know you have to block him. <laughs> Say you don't know you have to delete him. Abi, we should tell you. Okay, ma. Please delete him. Block him. Please block him. Block him. And friend him. Please, and friend him. On Facebook, Twitter, Please, Instagram. Please, let him be dead to you. Please, forget his name. Lose his number. Lose the fact that you are in a... In fact, it was not a relationship. Mm. What you were in with him. It whatever it is. And hope is a drug. Hope, eh? It hmm. is a drug. Charlie, dangerous drugs. You sometimes. are hooked on that drug so hard, you don't realize that you need saving. 
save yourself, mama. Biko, I beg you. Leave, oh, don't leave. An ex is an example of what you do not need in your life. That's why they are ex. Oh. Listen, <laughs> Listen, like, I, I don't have much to add after all these ladies, like, have jumped in, but um, you're, you're hoping that, you know, you guys will reunite in the end. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'll just, like, it's, it's, it's not going to happen, my love. It's not. So just move on. And you know better. That's why you were yes. shy to tell mm -hmm. us the story. You started by saying you are shy. You know, you know better. So if you need a confirmation, here it is. Mm -hmm. It's a bad idea. Okay? All right. We'll go for a quick break. We'll be right back. And you're welcome back. Sister, sister on City TV and City FM. Show brought to you by Talia Rice. Always coming home to love and Vodafone. Together we can. Right. Your comments are welcome. Please keep them coming through. 054-998-6996. You can also send us a message via email to jessica at cityfmonline.com. A message here is pretty much a one-liner. says, hi, sisters. I just cheated on my boyfriend. I feel so bad about it. Should I confess? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Let <laughs> uh, I me mean, no hey. long term. Drea, should she confess? Hmm. I can't hear you. It depends. <laughs> so. Okay, on what? Hmm. You see? Hmm. Yeah. I've done some before. Oh. <laughs> and the confession didn't go the way I hoped it would oh, go. Oh, Lord. How, okay, so how do you think it was going to go? How I, okay, how I knew it would go is how it went. How I was hoping it would go. It didn't happen. Didn't happen. You were on the hope drug. I was on the hope drug. So, it, okay. So, it really, really depends. Okay. When I say depends, <clears throat> it depends on the guy you're with. It, it depends on your boyfriend. It depends on how much love there is between the two of you. It depends on what kind of values you both have. Okay. I know people who cheating is not a deal breaker. If your boyfriend is one of those, sure, go ahead and confess. Um, if he is, however, and cheating is a deal breaker for him, you need to know what it is that you're getting into. It's very possible that you will lose him. Mm. In fact, with most men I've mm. come to learn, you it's will. very likely that you would lose him. Um... Somebody has asked me before, when you confess, are you confessing for yourself or are you confessing for the person? Mm. Because, you know, sometimes we want to confess so that we take the guilt off ourselves. Right. But we do not consider the people that we claim to love. Is this information that's beneficial to him? It's not. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So, yes, even though you will no longer feel guilty, if you claim that you love him and you know that you will not do it again, mm. why bother him with information? Mm. Unless it's possible he'll find out. Right. Yeah. If that's the case, then Charlie, you have done your nya, you have made your bed of thorns, lay in it, mm. and hopefully you will come you out. Survive. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Mm. And see, I'm not saying go and confess. So, me, like I said, I've done this before. It didn't go well. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, me, I say it depends on the guy that you're with, what his values are. I've had conversations and I've said, oh, this is a deal breaker. If you do this, I'm gone. If you do this, I'm here. So, if you people have had those conversations and you know that cheating is not a big deal, then sure, tell mm. him. And, but you see, the thing with men too is sometimes they say cheating is not a big deal. I'm a boy. Th that boy, he <laughs> called me to confess it. No. <laughs> Son of I. Oh, we start our life afresh. Oi, he lied. Me na me nye. Oh. Me I say tell. Yeah? Hey, confess. She'll lose him all. So? Ah, okay. she never want to lose love. If he really loves her, he will stay. So you stick around. Oh, that's not true. That's uh, not true. But 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 but, 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 but hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, I really love you, so cheat on me. No. Oh no 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 no. As in as in. I'll forgive you. I'll cheating. forgive you. But you're going to do it again. Hey, how sorry are you? If it means that you have to say sorry every day, you say sorry every day. Oh, yeah. So, but, but 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 honestly, you, because you see, the guilt, like you said, rightfully said, it could go either way. It can. Okay. Mm. Um, you could be in a relationship with him, marry him, and you could carry the guilt all your life, mm. and it could but weigh you down. That's your punishment. Yeah, that's your cross to that's carry. That's your cross to carry. But also, is it fair to the guy that he doesn't know? How truthful is it? Like, how truthful are you really being to him? 
Yes, this is but, information that will hurt him. Yeah, but that's the things I love that. Have you not heard that because I love you that I lie to you? I think it's easier for men. Mm. It's easier for for some men, not all men, for mm. some men to to sweep it under the carpet, pretend okay, this never happened. But sometimes yeah, what, their girlfriend cheating on them. No, no, no. For the man, like okay, if he, he goes, goes out, cheat, okay, 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 okay. it's easier for him okay, to like okay, this never happened. Pretend, put his my his wedding ring on, black on. But you know how women, his conscience have been numbed, but this girl still has a conscience. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. That's the problem. And that's a, it's not a problem. It's a good thing. It's it's a, a but that's problem. the thing in life when you make when you make thing. it's it's a problem for her, and she does. Wait, but I have a question. If she had the conscience, how did she cheat? You mm. never know. We all know your weakness. Oh, it, was, yeah, it, it was, was the devil. We yes. all don't know. Sorry. We all don't know what happened. <laughs> but at the end of the day, in in her somewhere, now she feels she bad. has. She feels bad. Maybe the guy has been so good to her, mm. and she looks at him and she goes like, "Oh, I I can't believe I did this." So you're going to save and break yes. his heart. Yeah, but, but that's the thing in life. When you take a decision, you need to stick to but it. But she hasn't taken the decision yet. Though. Okay, let me ask. Yes, yes. So take the decision, right? To tell. To tell. I think. Thing no, to no, tell, no, please no, tell, no, tell, no, tell, no, no, tell. No, 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 well, they say confession is good for the soul. Oh, so, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, would say, I would say that you should come clean. It's always good to fess up when you have done something bad. Clearly, there's a reason why you feel guilty. So you probably will have to, like uh, we said, made your bed. Unfortunately, you're going to have to lie in it. So when, or if he leaves, if the, he is throwing things around, if he spreads awful rumors about you, all of those things, unfortunately, you will have to live through it. But the important thing is that you have to put things in place for yourself so that you do not have this indiscretion again in your future relationships. Nobody wants a serial cheater. That certainly does not bode well for any relationship, uh, talk less of a marriage. So you have to put things in place for yourself. What are my triggers? Uh, what what uh, are the, the, the needs that I, I, I wasn't feeling or haven't fulfilled in this relationship that led me to uh, seek, seek solace or comfort or something elsewhere. Uh, did it just happen out of the blue? Uh, were you out partying? Were you drinking? Was it an old somebody who came to visit you? Was, uh, were the two of you in some quiet, secluded place watching a movie? And then things took uh, an awful turn. So you have to realize, sit down, do some self or some introspection or some self-reflection and say, okay, I did this. I'm going to tell him and then, you know, what, what, let the chips fall where they may. But more importantly, who am I? What kind of person do I want to be? What are my values? What do I expect in return in a relationship? If you don't want to be cheated on, then most assuredly, you shouldn't be the perpetrator. So put measures in place to really, really, uh, uh, you know, kind of really maximize that, if, if not to a zero, uh, then as close enough as it is. So we, we make mistakes all the time. We're imperfect. But that doesn't mean that there's no hope, there's no redemption and all of those good things. So you have to put things in place, put measures in place, be, be self-aware enough to know that, listen, if I put myself in this situation, I might end up this way. So if I'm dating somebody, if I'm with somebody, if I'm committed to somebody, if I'm married to somebody, I'm certainly not going to then, you know, put myself in, in questionable situations because I don't even want that to happen ever again. So it's, it's more important for me is that, yes, um, this has happened, but then you have to be able to move on and to really realize from your mistakes because what are we or who are we if we don't learn from our mistakes? So you have to learn from your mistake, darling. All right. <clears throat> so you know the, the song by Shaggy? It wasn't me. 
Charlie, let that be your sick to you. Know? <laughs> no, no, no. See, this is my this is my thinking. Yeah. If I was a chronic cheat, this wasn't the first time, and it was something that was just plaguing my life. And I'm with this guy who's just amazing and has been nothing but good to me. And like at that point, I will confess. But let's say it was a one-off. It was a moment of weakness that I genuinely disgust myself. I don't think I would risk, to be honest, I don't, I don't think I'll risk losing him by yeah. telling him for what. If I feel guilty, I'll confess to my God. Yeah. I'll say, Jesus, you know your girl. Like, I've, I've been bad. <laughs> Forgive me. You know, like genuinely. Right? And then I'll, I'll move. But like one of something, so maybe it wasn't even like we didn't go all the way. I went to kiss <laughs> my ex, be small. I, I should go and confess and break this lovely guy's heart. Hats. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, wow. <laughs> also, also, you see, um, the thing is, her guilt is enough punishment. Thank you. Not to lose it's the a, a big burden. Chale, <laughs> guilt is not a joking thing. Yes. That's why she has written to the show. That's it's right. her guilt. <laughs> guilt is not a joking stuff, as they say. She should confess. Oh, no, 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 and that boy, confess to God. Sleep, she will have a sound sleep. No. Night. Confess to Just God. Just take sleeping pill. Confess to God. She'll be there and she'll see her boy. She's like, hey, me a shit. the studio. <laughs> Confess Should I come to the don't studio and say, oh, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. We are finished. Confess to God, though. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't tell him. Please. Yeah. Why? You'll tell break him. his heart. The, 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 He'll be very he careful. Him. So that oh, he sees you as his angel. Don't do that again, but tell him. No, don't do it again, but don't tell. Again, no, don't do it again. <laughs> no, I mean, see, like I said, if I was a chronic yes. cheat, yes. the conversation would be different because I'll feel like I'm wasting this guy's time, he deserves much better, obviously, yeah. right? Yeah, and um, yeah, but just what but you otherwise, I need that this other guy couldn't fail because we actually don't know why she cheated. Then I'll wait up with him. Then, then I'll wait up with him. She had cheated. It would have also yeah, helped that for yeah, But I don't know. Too. But yes. still, yes. then, you know, yeah. just leave the boy. Just yeah. don't tell. Don't, don't tell. tell. Maybe when they did the this and wasn't like... Men come. Come, 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 come. Don't say it. Say it. Ignore them. Don't say it. Say it. You come and thank me later. You come and cry to us. Yes. But you would have learned your lesson and found somebody else and not never never hey, do that again. I'm but who sure are you that should never do it again? She'll find. You see why you should not listen to that? No, now we are related. No, now we are related. Charlie, let's end the show. Thank you guys are too much. Thank you so much for your time, ladies. And of course, to our sponsor, uh, Talia Rice and Vodafone. Thank you so much for the support as well. And to you who tunes in every single week, messages us on the side, sends us DMs. We appreciate. You can send your comments ahead of time or your questions for the show. We could feature them right here to Jessica at CityFMOnline.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.